Good morning, everybody. MG here. MG Covers bringing you a brand new sports handicapping video. Title of this video, Billy Walters Margin Concept Part 2. We released Part 1 in January. It's been a while. We're going to revisit this again. Super excited about this video. In this video, we're going to first define what margin concept is. In this video, we're going to apply it to line movement, the margin between opening and closing line. Also, I'm going to give you two other sports that this can be applicable to. In this video, we'll use a baseball example because we have baseball season going on right now. And at the end of this video, I got something really cool. We're going to do a giveaway. I never do giveaways, but we're going to do one in this video. So stay tuned for that. If you're watching this video for the first time, greatly appreciate you subscribing to the channel. I think we have right at about 500 videos related to sports handicapping um, and just educating yourself in order to get better at sports handicapping. If you want to follow me on social media, uh, it's MG Covers, Covers spell with the Z. There's a link to follow me um, in the description of this video. Put out a ton of content on Instagram. We have something called Free Fridays. I give out all my lines for free on Friday. Uh, this past Friday, uh, MLB went 5-1. and one. So if you follow me on Instagram, you'll be able to uh, access that for free and get a ton of content related to sports handicapping. All right, so let's dive into the uh, this video. First off, before we go any further, and again, I'll link the video. I'll link. Um, I'll put a link to the first part, the first video at the end of this video. So don't worry, you're not going to miss anything. It's not contingent uh, upon watching the first video to understand this one. So let me first explain margin concept the way Billy Walters said it. Margin concept initially the way he described it in his book, Gamblers secrets from a life at risk is the margin between your line and the sports book line and the premise is the greater that margin is between your line and a sports book line the greater chance you have of winning that wager and obviously the smaller the margin the less that margin is the less chance you have of cashing that wager okay so in that first video we used a actual model example my model versus the sports books line. In this video, we're going to use um, line movement, the opening line to closing line. So let's dive right into this. All right, so what you're looking at, just so everybody's on the same page here, this is sports book, I mean, I'm sorry, bookmakersreview.com. It's a good resource. They basically show um, all the offshore books. They have uh, Bet Online, Bavada, Bookmaker, Heritage, uh, Every Game. Some of these I, I haven't really... Um, never had an account with not familiar with they also have pinnacle as well but what we're going to do is we're going to look at the opening line here and versus the closing line at bookmaker the reason we're using bookmaker bookmaker is a sharp book okay so follow along here um first game we're going to look at is minnesota so let's scroll down and take a peek at that so minnesota this line opened at plus 100 and it moved to minus 103 so that is what we call a three cent line move. That means the line moved in favor of Minnesota. However, Minnesota lost. Let's look at the Chicago Cubs here. This line opened at minus 103 and it closed at 110. So we would call that a seven cent line move in favor of Chicago. However, Chicago lost. Let's look at the next one, Texas. And we're going to finally get our first win here. Line opens at minus 115. It moves to minus 119. So that is a four cent line move in Texas one. And one thing to note about this opening line, just so you know, and I'm about 99% sure this is correct. They use a consensus opening line, which means they take the opening line of all these books and sort of average those together to get a quote consensus opening line. Okay. Uh, let's go to Atlanta down here. Atlanta plus 110 it moves down to plus 106 in favor of Atlanta however Atlanta lost all right Kansas City Kansas City opened at minus 164 just a small amount of loop move a 10 cent move in favor of Kansas City Kansas City wins and then finally Washington Arizona Plus 150 opens for Washington. It closes at plus 141. That was our biggest line move. And unfortunately, Washington lost. Okay. So now I want to go to this chart here. And let's take a look at this. Minnesota was a three cent line move. 
Chicago Cubs was a seven cent line move. Texas Atlanta four cent. Kansas City a two cent line move. Washington a nine cent line move. All of those had positive line movement, but if you played those, you would be down minus 2.3 units. So just based on that, not good, right? And we'll put a little red thing here. All right, now we're going to look at um, one, two, three, four, five, six. We're going to look at these six games next. Let's start with Toronto. Toronto opened at plus 163. It closed at 0.142. So we had, give me one second to adjust this. So that was a 21 cent line move. Significant, but they lost. All right. Next one we're going to look at is Cleveland. Cleveland opened at plus 100 and ended up closing at minus 160. That was a huge, huge line move. That was what we call a 60 cent line move. Cleveland wins. Next one, let's take a look at the Yankees. We actually played this one last night. Um, we actually had a uh, we had we had we had a three and day yesterday, but again we don't use line movement. Um, the way that I handicap for Major League Baseball is one hundred percent model plug and play. So there's no um, we don't factor line movement and been successful with that. We're currently right at I think I mentioned that last video uh, thirty units year to date with that model. So had a ton of success. But anyway, sort of regressing here. Line opens at plus one thirty for the Yankees. Moves all the way down to plus one fourteen. That is a 16 cent line move. They win. Next one, we have this Toronto game here. Plus 151 moves all the way down to plus 123. That is a 28 cent line move. Very significant. Toronto wins 8 to 4. Uh, let's look at Boston. This is another one we played as well. Boston opens at minus 105. It closes at minus 119. That is a 14-cent line move, and Boston wins. And then finally, Houston, down here at the bottom. Houston-Pittsburgh, you had opens at plus 141 for Houston, moves all the way down to plus 113. Very significant line move, 28-cent line move. Unfortunately, Houston lost. Now, those of you that are smart probably already noticed this already. The correlation that we're talking about. All right. So look at the margin of these games versus these. This went two and four, but look at the margin. Three, seven, four, four, two, nine. All right. Look at the margin up here. This, when the margin was, say, double digits, it went four and two. 21 cent margin, 60 cent margin, 16 percent margin, 28 percent margin, 14 percent margin, 28 percent margin. So again, back to the premise of this video, Billy Walter's concept was the greater the margin, the greater probability that wager has of cashing. And again, what we've done is we've taken his margin concept and basically applied it to line movement, right? And it's and it's actually true based on these stats. Now, will this work long term for baseball? I'm not sure because I haven't tested it, but it was just something I saw and I was helping a client and said, hey, this is a good opportunity to make a video. And if you actually look at the yield from that, that comes to 2.73 units. And again, it's a very simple strategy, right? Um, and this would be referred to as a, quote, top-down approach to handicapping meaning you're not using a model you're just using line movement but the key takeaway in this video is that you need to have significant margin in order to justify a quote play and this is basically how i handicap it you, you do the, i do this with sports betting models i have a certain criteria meaning it has to meet a certain uh, margin like for example for nba i would only play a game where i had at least a uh, five point margin, right? Um, or you could do like NFL where I make sure I at least have a three point margin where this we're looking at um, line movement and we quickly realize, again, don't know if this would work long term, but generally speaking, 
around it looks like maybe a 15 cent line move or better would justify a play and then to apply what billy walters talked about in his book what he would do is he would assign the margin um a star for example a 60 cent line move let's say he would make that a five star play for example um, and then let's say you have a 28 star, that would be a 28 cent line move. That would be a four star play. And these other ones, let's say these would be three star plays here. And then maybe down here, these all would be one star plays, or you might have a certain criteria where say, if it's a 10 cent line move to 14 cent line move, that would be a one star play because obviously this isn't profitable again, based on a small sample size. But anyway, that's the margin concept. Very, very interesting as we apply that to baseball. Now, what other sports can we apply this to? Well, what other sports are money line? We have NHL. Would it work for NHL? Not sure. It would be something that you would have to test. And then we also have our other money line sport is soccer um, and something I'm working diligently on right now. So it's something I'm definitely going to experiment um, using that opening line to closing line. Now, one word of caution with this particular approach. This doesn't take into account a public line move. A public line move is when the public overreacts to maybe more times than not, it's an injury. You see it a lot in uh, bas basketball. But say, for example, baseball, maybe you have a good starting pitcher that got scratched. So they're going to maybe just it's going to be a bullpen start where they're going to have all bullpen starters. The public might overreact to that and that might drive the line in the in the direction of that team, but that's what we call a public line move. So it doesn't account for that. Now, so again, the other sports you can apply this to NHL and soccer. Now for the giveaway, before we wrap this up, I'm actually going to give away. This is pretty cool. This is his actual book. This is my actual copy gambler secrets from a life at risk. Billy Walters, my personal book. I bought a Kindle now. So all of my books are on my Kindle, which I absolutely love, but I'm going to give this away. Two requirements. The only thing you have to do to um, to win this, you have to be subscribed to the channel and you have to go in the comment section of this video and type in the word winner, W-I-N-N-E-R. So if you're subscribed to the channel, you go to the um, comment section of this video, type in winner, and I will somehow figure out a fair way to randomly select somebody. And I'm actually going to mail you this. How about that? So pretty cool giveaway. And again, greatly appreciate you guys watching this video. We had a uh, ton of success with that last video. And if you like this video, please remember to like it. And if you want to subscribe to my service, it's 50 bucks a month. You get access to all my lines for all sports, as well as all of my coaching videos on the website. We have about 150 coaching videos. Um, the only way you can access those is to be a client. And if you want to access all my plays, 100 bucks a month. And the best value, instead of paying 100 bucks a month, you can join, save about $600 on a year, and pay 500 bucks. And that's like getting an associate's degree in sports handicapping. You get access to everything on the site for 500 bucks. There's a link to join in the description box. Greatly appreciate you watching this video. Talk to you guys soon. Peace.